What is up guys? My name is Jonathan and in this video I want to tell you guys a little bit about myself and how I got my first job as a web developer. Hopefully for those of you out there that are looking for a web development job or any type of software job, this can give you some guidance or ideas or something of the sort. I want to start off by giving you guys a little bit of an idea of what kind of student I was when I was in college. Um, I studied computer science and I was, to be honest, probably not the best student. Unlike most of my peers and fellow classmates, I found it really hard to uh, understand these theoretical concepts they were teaching us about computer science. And to be honest, I don't really know if I really liked computer science. I don't really know if I liked programming or algorithms or data structures, but I ended up staying with it and this really came back to bite me come senior year when I was trying to look for a job. I had an average GPA, I didn't really have any internships or jobs lined up, and I kind of just didn't really have much going for me. So what I did was I played the numbers game. I thought, okay, I'm just going to apply to as many jobs as I can, and hopefully maybe someone's going to you know, give me a chance. But after 100, 200 job applications, it didn't really get anywhere, and you know my morale was down. All hope was lost. Uh, <laughs> it really wasn't a good time. So I ended up taking a step back and I took a little vacation for myself to get a little breather. So after vacation, I told myself this is what I needed to do. I needed to learn what I wanted to do and what skills that were required to do that job. So I did that for about five months and after those five months I was able to get numerous interviews within a week and even some offers. So I'll tell you guys how I did that in a second. Before I tell you guys how I was able to get all of these interviews, I really recommend you try out this course on web development uh, from Udemy called Zero to Mastery from Android Nagoya, I think. Um, but this guy's not sponsoring me or anything. I think it really helped me out and I really owe him a great deal. So I want to mention that video. I will put a link of where you can find it in the description below. So now let me tell you how I was able to get from one to two interviews within the span of two months to getting more than seven interviews within the first week of applying for jobs. The first thing I did was start by learning the core fundamentals. This meant learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and how they all kind of work together hand in hand. And I really started to adopt that mindset of learning and trying to absorb everything I could. I started watching YouTube videos about anything related to web development and completely immersed myself in watching tutorials, videos about tips and advice, and sometimes even TED Talks. I also joined some developer communities such as ones on Discord or Facebook and I think this is really important especially for new up-and-coming web developers because there are people out there that are really generous and that have experience and are willing to help you out if you get stuck. Last but not least, I watched a ton of tutorials and did some courses and tried to apply those concepts that I learned into my own projects and I think this is Probably one of the most important things is that a lot of people learn these materials, but they don't actually put them into practice. So they end up forgetting them. I think the last course that I took was actually the one that I mentioned earlier, and that really helped to solidify everything I've learned into one cohesive understanding of web development. And with that, I felt confident enough in the skills and abilities that I've learned to actually apply them in the real world. So, I polished up my resume, I rewrote my cover letter, and most importantly, I created a portfolio, which is what this is right here. I think this is probably the single most important factor in why I was able to get noticed by employers in the first place. So make sure, please, please, please make sure that you create a portfolio if you're trying to get that first web development job. I haven't changed this portfolio ever since I was hired for my first job. So, uh, that being said, I think it's a really good representation of where I was before I started applying. So you guys are free to use it as a reference or inspiration or anything like that. So I'm going to leave 
a link to this portfolio on my description below. Make sure you check that out if you want. And I think that about sums up how I was able to get my first job as a web developer after graduating from college. Um, so if you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you have any questions for me or if you have any videos that you want to see from me, make sure to leave a comment below. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.